Welcome to Card of the Day, where we talk about Vice Choices Cards of the Day. And before we get into the actual cards, let's talk announcements. Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs gets a trial deck on December 7th and booster packs on the 14th. And if you don't know about this series, it's a manga that started off in Weekly Shonen Jump. And, um... Yep, the next series that got announced is... Oh, hey, we're getting more in... Wait, what the fuck is this? And now that we all stopped crying, let's get into the cards. And hey, more Godzilla cards. I honestly wasn't expecting to see these this quick. Here's Armor Weapon Vulture. I already talked about this in the first look at the Godzilla card. So what would be interesting is if we get a card with both Haruo and Yuko in its name. And before it's a 0-0 vanilla. But anyways, here's some targets. Wing of the Migratory Board. Yuko is a 3-2 and on play from hand. You can draw two and ditch one. And change. Return this card to hand. At the start of your climax phase, you can pay the cost. If you do, you can play Armor Weapon Vulture from your hand to the slot that this card was. The Vulture gets its effect on the Climax combo when it attacks, so the Climax combo will go through. The Vulture doesn't say that it has to be in a specific phase to get the Marker and the Heal, so it looks like you're going to be fine. Play this card, get the extra draw, then do the change, which is honestly no cost because this gets bounced back into your hand. So you'll just be paying two for this certain character so you could draw a bit. And then when you play the Vulture, get the Heal, get a Marker, pop off. Desperate Retaliation Haruo is a 2-1, it's a level assist, times 500 forward, and when you are level 3, he gets pay 1. Choose an armor weapon vulture in your waiting room and play it onto an empty area on your stage, then you can set this card underneath it face up as a marker. You ain't getting that heal, my friend, but you are getting those extra effects. And it is pay 1 for the vulture, so there is that trade-off. Off to Stein's Gate, here's a relevant trial deck card. Lap member Kirisu is a 1-0 and on reverse if the opponent is caused 0, send that character's stock and then put the bottom card of their stock to the waiting room. Yes, 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 yes. A stock bomb for cost zeros and honestly, the most relevant cards are cost zero. Here is Death Conclusion Shina Mayuri. She is a 0-0 and at the start of your climax phase, choose a character and it gets plus 1 level and plus 500. And she's the searching brainstorm for lab member characters. Pay 1, rest 2. The next couple cards are called Gear of Destiny and here's Shina Mayuri as 0-0 and on play from your hand you can pay 1, look up to 3 cards from the top of your deck. You can clock 1 and ditch the rest. And if you clocked, you can salvage a level 1 or lower character. That's actually an interesting way to salvage. You mill your deck and you can actually clock something if you want to. Only level 1s are below, but so far there are good targets being shown. The choice is up to you, and you know there is a certain event that you could clock to get an added effect. Such as an early drop, you know, if it shows up on the 3 that you looked up, you know, just, you could do it. The 3-2 Okabe Rintaro is an early drop if you have the Gear of Destiny Kurisu and Shina Mayuri in your level zone, and holy shit, that is a bit rough. At least you have this card and this card as well to help you out. It is doable, but you're going to have to plan ahead. An on play from hand, reveal the top card of your deck, and if it is a level 0 character, you can send it to stock. Has to be a character, climaxes do not count. An on play from hand, you can bounce one of your opponent's characters. Pretty nice, non-destruction removal. This card's fine, you know, this gets a pass from me. Last gear of destiny is Kurisu, and she is a 0-0 global 500 for your lab member characters, and you can rest two lab member characters, and you can swap a card in your level zone for a card in your waiting room. And then select one character and it gets plus one level. Super easy to get that level swap going. This will actually trigger all of these cards on command. And you can target this card as one of the cards that need to be rested. So I'm saying this is, could be a staple. Last card it has six fucking arts. And I thought the IBN 5100 was... Actually, you know what? That one has no reason to have two arts. So that one is... Pretty fucking stupid, but this one kind of makes sense. Inescapable Sacrifice is a 2-1 counter event that lets you tribute a Mayuri character and you can send the top card of your clock to your hand and this card gets sent to your memory. Sayaka's Wish. Salvage, heal, thin out your deck a bit. You can play it whenever if you meet the color requirements. Mayuri characters seem to be a kind of a staple in the set, so you should be fine there. And god damn, this card has so much flavor. You see, she is sacrificing herself so you can heal one and you can get an extra card in hand. That's deep. And yeah, this has been week two of the Steins Gates cards, and honestly, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. Uh, it's not like a regular, you know, why Schwartz set and like, you know, you get this and this and this. There's actually like a way to play this deck that we're looking at. And it's just like the Milky Holmes deck where you have to switch things in your level zone and stuff happens. And 
Yeah, honestly, uh, we might be seeing this in English because Steins Gate is, you know, it is on Steam and I think J-List has actual physical copies of it. Uh, it's on the PlayStation Store, I'm sure. I think uh, the other game from the same company, Chaos Head, is also over here. So the odds of us actually seeing this in English are pretty good and I'm going to hold off on buying these cards in Japanese so I could probably get them in English. And those are all the cards that we have today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Vice Shores news and content. This one was super quick because, uh, you know, some of the card effects, we already know what they do. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to start working on that Konosuba deck. And yeah, this has been Lunchbox5930. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.